Hey guys, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to make the door magnets for our door on the Disney cruise ship. I was gonna order them, but I think I'm running myself out of time. So I just went and got a couple of things that from pretty much from the dollar store that I can kind of conjure up and make. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I don't really have a plan. Actually, I have a little bit of one, but I think for the boys, I wanna do two little Mickeys on here. Um, so I'm gonna go get a cup and then trace and then I'm gonna make pirate hats. So let me go get that. Did you guys see my dress? And I got cowgirl boots on. Okay, so I decided to go with this cup and I'm going to take a white crayon. One of the only times white comes in handy is on black. And I'm just going to trace. And I'm going to move it over because I want to make two heads, so. So this one I actually didn't finish. Focus, this one I didn't finish the circle, but this one I did. Doesn't matter, because I'll flip it over and then you'll see the other side. So that's my first one. Hopefully I have room for my second one. <laughs> so there's the second one. There's the first one and then the second one. I had to turn them sideways in order to fit both of them on there. This is just a, called a um, foam sheet. It's by Createology and I found it at Michael's and those are the size, that's the size of it. So you can get just about two Mickey heads on it. So I'm actually going to go in with an X-Acto knife and cut it. And I'm going to put a cutting board underneath because when I go through I don't want to cut up the table. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the first little Mickey. And I'm going to do him nice and slow because I'm, I'm clumsy. So. And it cuts through the foam very easily and you get more of a precise cut when you can round the edges with an X-Acto knife. I mean, you can obviously do this with a regular scissor, but you won't get that clean um, circle that you would with an X-Acto knife. I mean, it's cutting through it just like butter. And I can, by doing that, I can maneuver the knife however I want in order to get that rounded shape on his ears or whatnot. Instead, when you do scissors, it's more of a straight cut. So, sorry, I gotta concentrate, I gotta concentrate. Otherwise, that's when I go outside the lines. I have no clue. Oh. They have, um, also, if you guys want, they have a link, which I will put to, uh, down below, of different Mickey ears that all, they're like printable version, in case you just want the like the silhouette, the outline of his ears. Um, but they have all different characters. Just, I am somewhat technology retarded and I couldn't print it to the size that I wanted. So, I'm just gonna have to do all this by hand and by cup <laughs> and bowl. And just, I don't know, we'll figure out what I'm making exactly. I don't know. So, first Mickey should be coming out pretty easily. He's not gonna be perfect. I think he'll probably have a little bit of some hard edges, but um, yay! Isn't he cute? And I'm gonna put a little hat on him. So <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna put the hat on. I'm gonna put I'm gonna cut out the second one and then we'll move on to doing the hat. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do something similar to that. <sighs> or should I do that one? I don't know. Maybe I could do both, one per child. I don't know. Okay. I'm 
just gonna freehand this. And these are how my Mickeys came out. So, putting those off to the side. And I am in no way, shape, or form an artist by any means. So, I mean, you guys have seen most of my do-it-yourself videos. Um, I'm just going to put this down, back down, so I kind of get a gist of how it's going to fit his head. And also I can create the curve um, in case I want to do that bandana, which I think I'm going to do first because it seems relatively easier. It looks like a banana. I don't think you guys can see it. Um, it looks like a banana. I don't know. I think maybe when I cut it, I can maneuver it a little into the shape I want, hopefully. But, yeah, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. So, this is the hat. And I'm just gonna see how it looks. Yeah, hey, it looks pretty decent, actually. If I do say so myself. And then I'm gonna do a skull. And all that good stuff. I'm gonna go actually in here with the scissors and kind of round out this little area. Even though I don't really believe in the scissors. And I think I want to put a little bit of yarn right here so it looks like it's tied at the end. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good for the most part. I gotta kind of round it off, I think, up at the top for his hat. And then I'll do the second one and I'll show you guys the skull. Okay, so I found this twine that I have and you guys can use whatever you want, but I think it kind of looks parity. So I'm gonna use that to wrap that little area on his tassel. And I'm gonna just use this liquid adhesive. If you have a hot glue gun, use that by all means. I think that will work better and I'm probably gonna have to face the music and go back and get my hot glue gun out. But you can do either or. This is just usually what I've used in the past and it works pretty decent. So um, I'm just going to align the bottom half of this. Okay, it's stuck, so hot glue gun, here it comes. Okay, so what I did for the little tie is I took some yarn about this much, and you just cut it. Okay, and then what I did was I just literally like held it, I held it down, and then I just wrapped, wrapped. Wrapped, wrapped, wrapped. It looks a little different than the other one. The little, the other one I think is smaller. Um, as far as the, there's not as much twine to that one. And then I just tie it. And then I double knot it. So I knotted it. And you can either leave it how it is or you can cut it. The other one I cut, but this one I think I kind of want to leave because it looks more rugged. And now I'm going to go super glue them because, or hot glue them on, because my super glue was not working. So I decided I just want to do them going facing different ways. So this one, this Mickey will face this way, and then that Mickey will face that way. So that's what they'll look like.
Here, I decided to do Mickey heads instead of skulls, and all I did was trace that, and then I took the back end of my crayon, and I just, oh, I just went like this. I made ears. So I think I'm gonna do that instead of doing a skull. So here's the finished product. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for that one. But I've got all these little letters. So I can put his name on there. Either Jack or James, doesn't matter. Just gotta find it. I use the card down below so that way I get a straight line and I wanted to spell everything out before I took it off and stuck it to it. So I'm going to do that next. So the last step for this one is I'm just going to put magnet on the back because the doors are uh, magnetized, each of them. So I got this stripping and I'm going to turn them over and I think I'm just going to do this upper half, magnetize it. So I'm not gonna do the whole length, I think. I'm just gonna do part of it. And then cut, easy as that. And I actually put it like straight down the back. Yay, they work. I'm so excited, I can't wait to get them up. And we just got this in on Tuesday, and inside it has our luggage tags. It comes with our luggage tags, um, important information.